What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorpio, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a um, free general collective uh, reading for sign of Scorpio. It's a full card reading. It can resonate if you have um, Scorpio in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth Dome, and Hammer your charts. Um, it's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Just one letter by note. Um, uh, I want to say thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're almost to 11-7, you guys, um, already. So uh, thanks so very much. I truly appreciate all the love and support to the channel, uh, helping support a single mama, two kids income stream. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, I just want to let everybody know that um real quick okay um i'm not talking really really loud for re strategic reasons um for my own back there so i'm just letting you know okay um i was gonna say something else too and i forgot spirit okay spirit messages you have requested for signs sports this could resonate if you have scorpio in any aspects of your chart sun moon rising venus or they would emerge your charts um, I did receive um, some channeled as I was meditating on your energy, Scorpio. So I'm going to share those. Um, the channel message I received was um, um, a surprise prenup is what I heard. A surprise prenup for some. And then I heard um, one person is going to surprise you with a prenup. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, a prenup for some. And some, someone's going to surprise you with a prenup. Um, so you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates in your life, Scorpio. Um, a surprise, uh, a prenup. So I think one of you guys is about to get a prenup or you already have a prenup or someone you're connected to has a prenup or is planning on getting a prenup. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, a prenup is a prenuptial agreement um, when you go into a marriage. Uh, if I ever get married again, I will definitely get a prenuptial agreement. And that's just for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, I've been single a long time, but I would. Absolutely. If I did. For me. But I think one of you guys has already gotten a prenuptial agreement or you're going to get one. Or I feel you're about to get married or you're planning on getting married. Or maybe you're just going to get a prenuptial agreement. Um, how that resonates. Um, and one of you guys about to be surprised with a prenuptial agreement. So... I feel you're planning on getting married to somebody and they're about to surprise you with this prenuptial agreement um, if that resonates, um, whoever that resonates for. Or it could be somebody you're connected to. It doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to as well. Uh, maybe they're going to surprise somebody with a prenuptial agreement. Um, prenuptial agreements are very, very, very smart. I just want to say that. They're very smart. Very smart. So, um, you know, I think. Spirit messages, okay. Spirit messages you have a sign of Scorpio. Okay, so um, number 51 or 27 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 51 or 27. It could be possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 51 or 27. You could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign because you have air sign and fire sign energy. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the Mini, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Scorpio, Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. A cease and desist order is about to become very significant in a particular Scorpio's life as well. And a protection order. Oh my goodness. A cease and desist order and a protection order is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life as well. So um, it could be for you or somebody you're connected to. Um, if it's not for you, it could be another Scorpio possibly. Some kind of cease and desist order energy, um, which is stopping something. Um, it's legal. It's legal. And it stops something, basically. It's the down and dirty. You can Google it if you want more information on it. Um, but it's very legal. It's very legal. Cease and desist order. And a protection order. And, you know, you get those from police department is um, where you get those from. So, um, protection order, um, 
somebody could be putting a protection order on you or you could be putting a protection order on somebody else. However, that resonates. Some kind of cease and desist order and protection order energy is about to become significant in Scorpio's life soon. You could be a police officer about to help somebody put a protection order on somebody. Um, or you could be getting the protection order or putting the protection order on somebody. Or same with the cease and desist order. How that resonates, okay? Energies can be reversed. Be playful. One particular Scorpio is about to turn down a swinger invitation this time. It's going to benefit you in a huge way. Oh, well, that's good. So if this resonates for you, Scorpio, I heard at least one of you guys are going to turn down a swinger invitation this time. It's going to benefit you in a huge way. So whoever this resonates with, um, I think you used to be a swinger in the past. Um and I'm just being pro pro. I think you used to participate in swinging in the past. Um, if you don't know what swinging is, Google it. I'm not going to explain it on here. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, but you're going to turn it down this time. So I think you're out of the swinger life. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So be playful. Um, let's see if I hear anything else. Um, be playful in this situation was the former swinger energy, but you're turning it down. So this time. About to focus on fun and life. About to focus on fun and life is what I heard. That, that's my, my type of life. Just saying. About to focus on fun and life. So you're about to focus on fun and life. Well, you go with your bad self, if that resonates. So you're about to turn down the swinger life this time and focus on fun and life. Now, whatever fun is to you, and I'm assuming living life in a positive, adventurous type of way is what I'm presuming. Think on your feet. Quick action is about to be needed soon. Okay, I heard quick action is about to be needed soon. So some kind of quick action in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, that really could resonate in many different ways, but some kind of quick action energy. Um, quick, quick, quick movement. Like eight of, eight of wands energy is what I'm feeling here. Um, quick action. So clearance reverse. There's about to be many, many changes soon to a Scorpio's life. Some positive and some negative. And someone is about to receive a delayed inheritance soon, not a Scorpio. Okay, uh, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard there's about to be... Uh, many changes in Scorpio's life. Some of you guys are, are going to be positive, some negative, and someone's about to receive a delayed inheritance soon, not a Scorpio. So we have clearance reverse. So I feel some of you guys have not cleared out negative energy in your life or cleared out something you need to clear out in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel for some of you guys, the universe is about to do it because I heard there's about to be huge changes here. So like 555 energy, um, whether you want to do it or not, and that could be the think on your feet energy. I think there's about to be changes, universal shift changes here, whether you want them to be or not. Um, and I'm serious. And you're going to have to think quickly and lots of quick action um, when these changes occur is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel I feel for a lot of you guys, you have not cleared out negative energy. Um, I, feel, I feel for some of you are. I mean, the swinger energy. Somebody's about to clear out some negative energy. But for others, um, I don't feel you have. Uh, I feel for some... Maybe somebody's been putting blockages and delays in your path too, intentionally, possibly for some, or you've been putting blockages and delays in somebody else's path. How that resonates, but um, I feel blockage and delay energy here. If this resonates,
There's about to be a significant custody change soon. Permanent custody change. You didn't think it would go you didn't think it would go this way, but it is about to. Okay, I heard there's about to be a significant permanent custody change. You didn't think it was going to go this way, but it is about to go go this way. So we have clearance reverse. So that's um, cycles. You didn't think it was going to go this way. So cycles is going to be stuck, I think, for you, Scorpio. Um, I, well, I don't know. I feel for some this could be positive or negative. Um, I do. I feel it could be positive or negative. Um, I do. Um, but some kind of significant custody change energy you didn't think would go the way it's going to go. And that could be the secret energy as well. Um, secret coming out about the custody change. It hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to. It's some kind of significant custody change. I think of um, child or children is what I'm feeling here. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Or custody, uh, or custody change of an adult that is under custody in some shape, form, or fashion. But some kind of custody change. Um, custody change could be custody of an individual in uh, jail or prison as well, too, um, too, as well. Um, some kind of custody change energy. Um, yeah, I feel it could be an adult in jail or prison or children. But you didn't think it was going to go that way, but it is about to go that way. Um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, how that resonates. And, that, and I feel that's the secret energy for some of you guys, too. Secrets about to come out of this custody change, whether it's an adult in custody with a law for jail or prison or children custody change, like custody battle energy or something of that nature. Secret. Uh, Scorpio is about to find out a huge secret about an Aquarius soon. And a Scorpio is about to find out a huge secret about a Libra and a Taurus soon. It's about to be very useful for you. And some about a Gemini. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some of you guys are about to find out huge secrets about a Taurus, a Libra, a Gemini, and a Aquarius. I heard it's going to be very, very, very significant for you. Now, for some of you guys, it could be one person you're about to find out this huge secret on. For some, it could be two plus. But I heard Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and um, who was the other one? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, all the air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and um, who was the other one? There was another one. Oh, there was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. I can't remember. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, and there was another one. Um, but I heard it's going to benefit you greatly. It's going to benefit you greatly. So secret upright. Secret's going to come out. It's going to benefit you greatly. However that resonates. There is a fourth one. You have to go back and check it. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Some and Aries as well. Some and Aries as well. And some another Scorpio. Oh my God. Some in Aries as well and some in other Scorpio. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the other one, some uh, um, Aries and some another Scorpio. A lot of secrets coming out on people is what I'm feeling. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, cup, you should accept valid criticism. Someone is about to really, really tell you something you don't want to hear. You're not going to like to hear it. Okay, I heard someone's going to tell you something you're not going to like to hear. You're not going to want to hear it. So if this resonates for you, Scorpio, um, whoever this is in your life, it could be one person or two plus people, but somebody's about to tell you um, or another Scorpio you're connected to something that they don't want to hear. Either you or some, uh, another Scorpio. Um, they don't want to hear. But I heard, um, I heard they're not going to want to hear it. Either you or another Scorpio. So um, I think to me, this is like positive. Um, 
what's it called? Constructive criticism. Like constructive constructive criticism. I feel this person is want to, wanting to give constructive constructive criticism, but this whoever it is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, you're not going to want to hear it. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, and that could be for some, it could be the secrets you're not going to want to hear too. Possibly for some. I feel for some it could be the secrets. And you're going to have to think on your feet when you learn all these secrets for some. A particular Leo is about to, Leo Feminine is about to learn some very, very, very important, useful information. She's highly intuitive. She knew this in the past, but she's about to learn it in the 3D. It's about to shock the hell out of you when she places lawsuits. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Leo Fem energy in here. I heard a Leo Feminine, um, whoever this Leo Fem is in your life. Um, it could be uh, whoever this person is, be a person in your past, a current person in your energetic space. You plug this person in, how they resonate. They could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midheim, or Jupiter charts. But I heard um, they're highly intuitive. This Leo is highly, highly, highly intuitive. Um, and um, they're about to learn something in the 3D. It sounds like from person or people in the physical 3D realm. Um, from person or people, I heard they already knew it intuitively inside themselves in the past, but they're about to actually physically, it sounds like, hear it from somebody in the 3D plane. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you when they place lawsuits. Um, aren't lawsuits plural? So two plus lawsuits. So you plug it in how it resonates, and that could be secret energy as well. Dealing with this fire sign, this Leo feminine. For some, she could be placing a lawsuit on you, possibly, or another Scorpio you're connected to. Um, or not. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you when she places lawsuits. I'll tell you that. So you plug it in how it resonates. A particular Libra Feminine, Eel Libra Feminine, has shocked the hell out of you too. For some, a Libra Feminine is about to get ill. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Well, so, so you got Libra Feminine energy in here too. So I heard a particular Libra Feminine, they can have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Benham, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you and you're dealing with a Libra Feminine, um, it sounds like one Libra Feminine in the universe has already gotten, it sounds like severely ill. It doesn't sound like a little uh, uh, cough. Um, one is about to. I heard it, um, it's shocking the hell out of you. So you didn't think they were going to get sick or they're about to get sick, how that resonates. Um, but they are, and that could be the secret energy as well. Shock, shock energy um, and secret. Well, great worry over nothing. A particular Scorpio is severely worried about a child. They, feminine teenage child. They think something very seriously medically is wrong with them, but they're about to find out there's not. Psychic genetics. Oh my God, so you plug it in how it resonates, wow. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're dealing with a teenage child in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, teenage feminine child. They could have um, whoever this person is. I didn't hear signs, but I heard you're very seriously worried about them. You think there's something severely medically wrong with them, um, if that resonates. Now, not mental health, medical. You think there's something severely medically wrong with them. But I heard there's not. Um, they have gen um, psychic genetics. And through many shocking series of chain of events, it's going to get stronger. And you're going to realize this down the line. Okay, I heard in through many shocking series of chain of events, um, you're going to realize this because it's going to get stronger down the line. So I think this teenage feminine um, child is starting either uh, has already started to develop, develop psychic tendencies or they're about to. But they definitely have psychic abilities in their family through their actual genetics. Um, 
whoever this teenage feminine child is. Um, but there's some kind of worry right now that you think there's something severely medically wrong with them. So there might be, there's some something going on with them in the world right now or is about to, to make you worried and think there's something wrong with them. But I heard you're about to find out that there's not anything medically wrong with them. That could be the secret energy as well. Um, it actually is psychic genetics. And through many shocking series of chain events down the line, it sounds like the child is going to develop stronger psychic abilities or develop psychic abilities because, you know, those things have to be home, grown, home, grew, manifested um, by their own kind, basically, to help them home, grow, and manifest the psychic abilities. So you plug it in how it resonates. So that could be the great worry over nothing. You think there's something very, very medically wrong with this teenage femme child, but there's really not. Um, and the secret's about to come out that they're okay medically um, and it's actually a, some kind of psychic um, abilities genetic psychic abilities um, it sounds like it hasn't manifested out in, in the child yet but it sounds like down the line through many shocking series of chain events it will so you plug it in how it resonates fat take care enemies are working against you For some, there's a very evil, malicious family member working against you behind your back. You're about to figure this out very soon. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, there's a very evil, malicious family member working behind your back. You're about to figure this out soon. So take care, enemies are working against you. In this situation, it is that evil, malicious family member working behind your back against you. Um, so wow, you plug it in, how it resonates. And I want to say too, I remember the other sign. It's, uh, I heard Gemini Libra Aquarius, Aquarius, uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius with the secret energy, Aries, and Taurus was the other one, Taurus. So I just wanted to say that too. Um, so yeah, so some kind of evil, malicious family member energy, you're about to find this out soon. So it hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like you're about to find it out soon. Um, some kind of evil, malicious family member energy working against you behind your back. So they might be talking smack about you. They might be slandering your name very publicly, like um, 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 I can't think of the legal ace term right now. But um, when you publicly slander somebody's name in public or or they might be um, trying to drain your money in some shape, form, or fashion, or take something from you that shouldn't be taken from you. Um, but you're about to learn it soon. Secret energy, strong. And a particular Scorpio is about to cut out a Pisces feminine out of, out of their life very permanently, very soon. Okay, and a particular Scorpio is about to cut out a Pisces femme very permanently out of their life very soon. So whoever you are, or, or Scorpio, sorry, I can't speak. You can have Scorps in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hand, Jupiter, masculine, feminine, some kind of Pisces, fem energy. Obviously, they are low vibrational Pisces, fem energy, obviously. Um, but I think you have already recognized that they are low vibrational, and that's why you're about to cut them out. Um, so that could be the secret that you're about to display out to the world, that um, you're about to cut this Pisces, feminine out of your life or permanently. So, like, no more attachments, no more nothing, nothing, nothing to this person. You are just about to cut them off. Like, boom, baby, is what I'm feeling. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. And I think you think this Pisces femme is an enemy um, to you. Or they have been an enemy to you. How this resonates, this Pisces feminine, low vibrational Pisces feminine. I feel for a lot of you guys, they have proven to be an enemy. And that's why you're cutting them off. And I'm serious about that. Um, cause there's a reason you're cutting them off. I don't think you're just cutting them off for, you know, giggles. I think there is a proven reason why you're cutting them off. And I'm serious about that. Let me see if I hear anything else. A wish is about to be granted. 
whoa, I heard a wish, wish is about to be granted. So that could be your wish about to be granted or someone you're connected to's wish about to be granted. But somebody's wish is about to be granted, I'll tell you that. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I love you guys. I hope this helps so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.